Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how all about patch function and how to do error handling when working with the patch function. Okay, I will not waste your time. Let's go to the SharePoint. Okay, and I showcasing the my list. Okay, so I created geography list. Title is a column. Okay, language. Different language and points. This <clears throat> list you can be create, and then let's going to the make dot power apps. So friends, you can be see. I just came to make dot power apps and trying to create the blank canvas app and given the name patch function error handling. Selected layout tablet and simply click on the create. Okay, let's have first step to rename the our screen. Okay, let's I rename screen. Submit. So on this screen, we are using performing submit operation. That's why I use this. So let's I use here two text inputs. Okay. One. So friends, you can be see I added three text input. Let's remove the default values of this text. Okay. And let's give the hint text to this, like uh, title. Then let's select the second one and perform the same operation. And at the last, we have the number type. Okay, so in the format, we will go and select here number. Okay, so means this text input only take the number. Okay, at the button, let's rename this and say it submit. Let's I go to the now advanced and on select property of this. Okay, first let's submit this record. Okay, by using patch function here. Okay, patch. Then we will give the list name. So we need to add the data source for that. Okay, so let's have adding here share point patch example one, and our list name is geography. So geo graphy and simply click on the connect view my blog. Okay, I have written one blog for you. Okay, so you can view the blog and <clears throat> watch it as well. Okay, if you have any doubt on the errors, okay, how to handle errors in the patch. So let's give our data source name geography, then use comma. Default for adding the new record. Okay, source is same geography, and let's use the comma curly brackets and close this. Okay, so let's I give here title column names means. So in title we need to insert this value. So I copy this. Okay, going to submit button and pasting this and performing same operation for others as well. Okay. So in the text input two, okay. So our third one is a number type column in our SharePoint. Okay, if you see here, okay, so we are getting the error. The type of this argument points does not match with expected type. Okay, found type text it should be number. Okay, so to convert this text, we use need to use the value function here. Okay, so I use your value. And just I close it here. Okay, so now you can be see our error is removed now. Okay, so let's I click on the format text, and let's simply click on the submit. Okay, I still receiving the error. Title is required. Okay, so we need to fill this information first. Okay, let's I going. Title is let's take. China. Let's take UAE and point. Let's give us forty and click on the submit here. Okay. So if you see our record is submitted now. Okay. Let's I refresh the page. Okay. You can be see UAE record is added. In this way, we can be submit the records. So friends, let's now do the. Error handling on the geography data. Okay, 
so to do the error handling so let's we use here if function okay if and let's use the opening bracket okay and what we are checking if is empty okay what is empty error errors in the geography list okay so let's i give the name here okay let's i write down the formula for you so it will not take that too much time okay and let's then explain you okay so what basically it is doing it is checking for an error in the geography okay and note here okay whenever you use the patch function okay all the errors by default track with in the error okay in this formula so whenever you perform one more patch function here okay so this previous error will gone okay so keep in this in the mind okay and we simply concatenating the errors that is present on our geography with our column means on which column this error is present and what error type it is okay and if it is no errors are there then we are navigate into the success screen simply okay so let's i <clears throat> use the error here okay like 777 it is beyond our limit okay and let's so must value must be in between 0 to 100 this type of error we are getting now okay and if i make it here okay like only 7 and click on submit so in that case we are not getting any error okay so one more uh, trick is here okay you can disable this submit button as well okay so let's i go on the display property of this okay and there i simply use the validate function okay so validate function what basically does okay let i explain you so validate functions check okay if there is any error or not okay so it is validating with our data source okay with this text input if there is any error then this button will display gives us true or false values okay so if can you able to see let it it, it. okay so in this way you can be use validate function okay and validate your code as well okay and you can also further highlight by using another variation okay by using this colors okay what error is present okay you can do that as well okay so let's i showcase you let's i select this text input and let's i go to the border color property and let's i simply use it here okay so you can be see now my color is change now okay in this way you can be do for all the remaining one okay so this is incorrect okay so i can able to see this okay so in this way you can be perform all the operations okay and do the error handling by in the patch okay if you have any question any doubt you can be ask me in the comment box okay thank you friends have great day keep learning keep growing and keep exploring and friends also if you have any doubt anything okay so you can also 